Well, city crews across Buffalo are preparing for potential flooding tonight with the melting snow and more rain in the forecast. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Stemler and I'm Michael Wooten. Scott Levin is off tonight. It's been a very busy day of cleanup, especially in South Buffalo. And that's where we find two on your side's Rob Hackford. He's live tonight. Rob, what is the top priority for crews heading into the weekend? Yeah, well, Michael and Mary Ellis here in South Buffalo, it's actually hauling out the snow that is accumulated in this area has been piled up at street corners. We just actually had a truck go by just a second ago, but we got an update from the city in the last hour. The Buffalo Department of Public Works saying tonight that 95% of streets here in South Buffalo and elsewhere in Kaisertown, as well as Lovejoy, have had snow removal finished or will have it finished by the end of the day, adding the last 5% is removing snow from those corners that I mentioned, as well as intersections intersections where traffic may be obstructed right now and where cars may have hampered those efforts earlier in the week. Well, driving all around South Buffalo today, crews were very active along McKinley Parkway. We were there earlier this week, removing some of those built up snow piles with high lifts and dump trucks, then transporting that snow elsewhere out to the outer harbor, actually, where they have quite the pile built up. DPW Commissioner Nate Martin telling me tonight they've had 135 pieces of heavy machinery on the roads, a combination of city crews and private contractors from construction companies. I also asked him with rain in the forecast and all this snow on the ground, potentially blocking storm drains, if flooding is a concern for the city. We have thought about that. We have um, work, we have active plans. I think there's four crews currently working in the city specifically target to those issues that you related to. We haven't seen uh, anything significant yet. The, the melt has been you know, slower in nature, the, the, you know, light rain, not a heavy downpour. So we're aware of it. We're, we're keeping eyes on it. Um, and then the entire crew will be monitoring it, you know, contractor crew and, and DPW crew. It's all this also isn't like the spring where we have a lot of ice built up on waterways. Work will continue overnight in the city, however, and into Saturday, according to that update. Again, that we just got an, about an hour ago from the city, clearing up with that remaining 5%. And Mary Ellis, to think a week ago, South Buffalo was bracing for a huge hit of lake effect storm. We've come a long way since then. Yeah, it's amazing. What a change. Rob, thank you for that update tonight.